I have back. a unanimous consent request. The young lady from California is recognized for unanimous consent. My majority counterparts have repeatedly cited a district court opinion from Louisiana, and I would like to introduce for the record the Fifth Circuit order staying that opinion almost as soon as it was issued. Objection. The chair now recognizes the gentleman from Point of order, Mr. Chairman. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Um, the distinguished gentle lady from New York mentioned a, a poll. Um, I would just ask that she identify what poll that is and if we could enter it into the record. I'm sure she'll be happy to We will to do submit that. it for the record. Can you identify what it is? Sure, I will submit it for the record and you'll be able to review it. We'll, we'll, we'll get it. Uh, the chair now recognizes the uh, gentle lady from uh, Florida, Ms. Washington Schultz. Good job. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, we respectfully requested that you rescind Mr. Kennedy's invitation to be, appear here due to his repeated and very recent statements that spread dangerous anti-Semitic and anti-Asian conspiracy theories and attempted to move into executive session because House rules prohibit public testimony that degrades or defames people. His reckless rhetoric helped fuel anti-Semitic incidents, which for the record are at the highest level in the United States since 1970. They have nearly tripled in the last six years. Since you gave Mr. Kennedy a megaphone today, I want to give him a chance to correct his statements and prepare some of the harm that he's helped cause. Mr. Kennedy, you're well educated. So yes or no, please. Are you aware that for centuries, Jews have been scapegoated and blamed for causing illnesses like Black Plague and more recently COVID? I am. Those are known as blood libel, and they are one of the worst and most disturbing parts of uh, human history. Good. I'm glad to know that, of course, that you, that you acknowledge that. Of course, it's true and well documented that this pernicious form of anti-Semitism led to centuries of discrimination, even horrific pogroms and massacres, and it still fuels deadly violence today. Yet last week, you floated a baseless conspiracy theory that the coronavirus was bioengineered to target Caucasians and black people, but to spare Ashkenazi Jews and Chinese people. Mr. Kennedy, your bizarre, unproven claim echoes that same historic slander of labeling Jews and Chinese people as a race, and that Jews, and in this case Chinese people, somehow managed to avoid a deadly illness that targets other groups for death. You do see that, yes or no? You're misstating. No, 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 no. Uh, you I, are... quoted, I quoted what you said earlier, and it, it is directly what you said. So just ask me, uh, yes no, or no? I was, I was describing an NIH-funded study. No, 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 you didn't cite any. I was, as, I was describing an NIH-funded study by Cleveland Clinic Reclaiming scientists. Reclaiming my time. Reclaiming my time. You did not you, reference. Reclaiming my time. Published in USC Mr. Medical, Chairman, which is, is one of... The time is mine. I'm reclaiming it. Please ask the witness to stop talking. You asked me a question. Reclaiming. I, let me, allow me to time. answer my question. Mr. Chairman, I'd like about 10 uh, seconds the back. Time, the time belongs. You are slandering me time incorrectly. To the, the time belongs time to You're saying time. is dishonest. Time belongs to the gentle lady from Florida. I need defend myself. Mr. Chairman, time belongs to the gentle lady from Florida. I'd like 15 seconds back. We will Mr. be happy Chairman. to give you that. Thank you so much. You did not cite any study like you are citing here now during that conversation. You referenced no study at all. You simply labeled Jews and Chinese people as a race, and you also said that somehow they managed to avoid a deadly illness that targets other groups for death. You don't see that. You're trying to rewrite history here. A few months ago, Mr. Kennedy, you compared COVID public health policies to barbaric murderous tactics of Nazi Germany, saying that Jewish people in Nazi Germany had more freedom than Americans facing COVID health restrictions. In hindsight, Mr. Kennedy, do you reject this absurd and deeply hurtful and harmful com comparison, or do you still stand by it? Congressman, what you are saying is a lie. That you, you said it. It's, it's, I no, I did not. I never continued. Okay. I never, ever Mr. Chairman, I'm happy to answer into the record when Mr. Kennedy said that. I reclaim my time. In discussing COVID public health measures, you made light of the genocide against Jewish people by saying, and I quote, even Hitler's Germany, you could cross the Alps to Switzerland. You could hide in an attic like Anne Frank did. Mr. Kennedy, do you think it was easy for Jewish people to escape systematic slaughter of Nazis, yes or no? Absolutely not. Okay, good. Mr. Kennedy, do you think it was just as hard to wear a mask during COVID as it was to hide under floorboards or false walls so you weren't murdered or dragged to a concentration camp? Yes or no? Excuse me? Uh, that's a question. Yes or no? I didn't hear your question. Okay. I said, do you think it was just as hard to wear a mask during COVID as it was to hide under floorboards or false walls so you weren't murdered or dragged to a concentration camp? Of course not. That's okay. ridiculous. But that's a comparison that you made. I did Mr. not Kennedy, make that were the comparison. Taken, were the measures taken to contain the spread and fatalities related to COVID in any way at all comparable to the murder of 6 million Jews, yes or no? Uh, absolutely not. Okay. 
<laughs> Let's be very clear here. There's no legitimate comparison to the Holocaust. It doesn't matter if you're talking about AI, AI, vaccine mandates, or anything else. There is no comparison. And if this were a slip of the tongue, Mr. Kennedy, or a one-off comment, we would all move on. But there's a deeply disturbing pattern. In 2015, you apologized to all those, quote, whom I offended by my use of the word Holocaust to describe the autism epidemic. When discussing efforts to encourage others to get vaccinated for COVID-19, you said Nazis did that in the camps in World War II. They tested vaccines on gypsies and Jews. That was a quote. Like before, you apologized for invoking the Holocaust, saying, quote, to the extent my remarks caused hurt, I am truly and deeply sorry. These are not real statements of contrition or remorse. They are passive-aggressive non-apologies that blame the listener for reacting to the lie you just read. I'm deeply saddened that this is a conversation we're having today. I have deep respect for what Mr. Kennedy's family did and still does to make life better for all Americans. But what you are doing now, Mr. Kennedy, and the forces you aligned yourself are reckless, dangerous, and disturbing by echoing dangerous claims such as, quote, Jews don't really suffer as much as we do, which you said. Your rhetoric creates a climate of mistrust, antagonism, and even hatred or violence against Jewish people. My own children have been the targets of brutal anti-Semitism on social media. You fan those flames and jeopardize their safety. You've marginalized other groups too, like Asian Americans and the LGBTQ the plus community. And worse, you don't seem to care or brush it all off to misquotes and misunderstanding. Frankly, it's disgusting. Thank you for your indulgence, Mr. Chairman. I yield back the balance. Mr. Chairman, I have unanimous consent request. The gentleman from